Everybody comes together to work on the same project for the days that we're here. For one week, this is what you eat, breathe, live, everything. The aesthetic of making music together, making art together, that's pretty exciting. We can guarantee that you'll be a different player when you come out of this camp. It's a great, great place. The camp benefits the kids up in the UP in a very unique way. This camp provides great teaching, concerts and demonstrations all week long. There's an atmosphere here that I don't think is describable until you get here. And that everything is geared toward the student. We challenged them to take on new techniques. One of the goals was to show the younger students that they were capable of keeping up with the older students and that if they would commit musically to advancing on their instrument, they really could reach for the stars. It's a very positive energy level. There are a lot of things going on, the music making, the lessons, and rehearsals. And in seven days, they'll be further down whatever path they need to go down wherever they are. I mean, any student can come here. I like kids to be able to come to this camp and have the opportunity for this week just to be normal kids and to interact with all other kids, no matter what their background is. The comfort they find here and the challenge they find here and the freedom to be who they are and to grow within the week of band camp is really significant. The two band directors here are the best in the business. There is nobody better at bringing the band along on this journey. We perform on Thursday evenings for the students and I want them to be motivated and inspired by it. They want to hear what you have to contribute. They want your knowledge. They want to put your experience into their own growth and their playing. When a kid comes to Badawagama, he or she is going to leave this place feeling better about themselves. We challenge them and we teach them. They do spend about four and a half hours in rehearsal, and some days as many as six hours. In addition to that, they also have sectional time, private lesson time, and small group ensemble time. They take so much away at the end of the week. Their skills improve, their level of understanding improves, their knowledge base in music improves. Preparation for a concert and teaching students about music has always been an element. Bringing the composer in brought in a really unique, extra special element of having the person who actually created the music write music specific for these kids. We like to have the kids see the process of composing music, what happens after the piece is composed. I interact with the kids all week long. They come up, ask me questions about the piece. They want to know about the composition process. It's, it's an incredibly unique opportunity to bring students in contact with composers, living composers. I think so often, especially with classical music, students tend to think that it's exclusively people that have died hundreds of years ago that have written this music. The kids playing on Saturday night, that's the goal that we're all working towards. And when you see them experience success over the week, that's pretty exciting. To sit on stage and play the world premiere is an exciting experience that most of us never get. It's not about just preparing a concert and doing a concert. It's about learning about the composers. It's about learning about each other. It's about listening to each other. After the week, I hope the students have attended camp take home 
an understanding of the difference between note playing, sound making, and music making. When students are surrounded by other students that have similar interests in this environment, it elevates their skill. Someone said once that they work here for one week a year to learn how to live the other 51. There is something that happens here that we all walk away with, which is a, a sense of community, of doing something that we hadn't been able to do alone.